Well, if you're a royal enthusiast, you likely have a lot of questions about what led the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to split from the royal family earlier this year. There is a new unofficial biography. It's out today. It attempts to shed some light on that issue. And it digs into concerns around the relationship between Prince Harry and Prince William, as well as allegations of bullying and racism against Meghan Markle. Renee Filipponi has been going through the details and joins us now from London. Uh, so what are we learning in this book, Renee? Well, this is a much anticipated book with the intention of setting the record straight for Harry and Meghan, essentially from their perspective. Uh, it takes a look at these different stories, these tabloid headlines uh, throughout the time since the beginning of their relationship and attempts to go back and find out what the true story, uh, according to their sources, has to say uh, about what exactly was going on. Now, the authors say they spoke with 100 people with close ties to not just Harry and Meghan, but also other senior members of the royal family. And they talk a lot about the relationships between Harry and Meghan and those other members of the royal family, uh, specifically looking at the rift between William and Harry, saying it goes back to the beginning of Meghan and Harry's relationship when William thought his younger brother was moving too quickly and referred to Meghan as this girl, something Harry didn't like, and it was sort of the beginning of problems for them. A similar story between Harry and one of his longtime friends who also had warnings for him. And then it talks about the relationship between Meghan and the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate, and how Meghan was disappointed with Kate that she didn't have her back um, through all the trials and tribulations with the media and also as she was trying to find her footing within the royal family. Uh, for the authors, this was really about uh, cutting down that myth of the uh, difficult duchess and uh, in, in giving them what they feel is, is their chance to tell their side of the story. Have a listen to what he said. Time and time again, the narrative that was missing was, or the voices that were missing were those closest to Harry and Meghan. And so I believe that this book sits within an entire landscape of royal reporting and royal biographies to then help people create what is then a complete picture. We've tried to bring a fresh perspective to everything. And if some want to say that that's biased, fine, but I think that this is a, a biography on two human beings. And of course, it's going to lean heavily on their point of view. Now, of course, there's been a, such strong reaction to the story even ahead of this book as people were taking sides. So what has been the reaction to the book so far? There are a lot of questions about how this private personal information was made public, specifically things like what Meghan whispered in Harry's ear on their engagement day saying, you've got this, and that Harry liked to send her emojis. So people are really wondering who the sources actually are. Could Harry and Meghan have been involved? Now, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex say no, the authors say no, but the tabloids here keep talking about that 1992 explosive biography by Andrew Morton written about Princess Diana that revealed things like her eating disorder, infidelity. Uh, it was questioned at the time, but then down the road, it turned out that she was in fact involved. Now, the authors again and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex say, you know, that isn't the case, but have a listen to a royal correspondent I talked to who, who sort of questions the nature of this book. I suppose I was quite surprised in just how personal the book was. This is a couple who are so fiercely protective of their privacy um, to the point where, you know, they, they, they are currently litigating on multiple fronts. And yet there are some incredibly personal details uh, revealed in this book. And I think that took me by surprise. And the litigation she's referring to is Meghan taking on the tabloid papers here for publishing a letter she wrote to her father, Harry taking on the tabloids for phone hacking, and now the couple taking on the paparazzi in L.A. for uh, pictures they've been trying to get of their son, Archie. Renee, thank you for that. Or Renee Filipponi in London.